let's get right to it. Yesterday, we talked about the future of machine learning. Today, let's focus on the future of data engineering. If you don't follow this channel, then you should start. If you do, then you know the top job on earth is a data engineer. No other role is even close. Let's define what a data engineer does. Here's a pretty good definition. Data engineering is a practice of designing and building systems for collecting, storing, and analyzing data at scale. It's a broad field with applications for just about every industry. Organizations collect massive amounts of data, and they need data engineers to ensure it's in a highly usable state. The term data engineer is broad. There are a lot of disparate titles that roll up under it. Let's go ahead and look at some real-world jobs. Most data engineering jobs have several core skills. Guess what number one is? Right, it's SQL. Next are the cloud skills. Knowledge of data warehouses is up there. Lastly, ETL and building data pipelines is also near the top. Most data engineers today come from existing DBA roles. The roles are very similar. If you want to become a data engineer, then SQL skills are your first stop. Second is probably cloud skills. Almost every single data engineering role is going to require cloud skills. The top three cloud providers are AWS, Azure, and GCP. Which one do you choose? Well, AWS and Azure are at the top, so I'd start with one of those. On LogicBot, I have a complete path to attaining the Google Certified Data Engineering Certification. There's an exam simulator also. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, didn't you just say AWS and Azure were the top two? I did. However, the top platform for machine learning engineers is GCP, or the Google's Cloud Platform. They have BigQuery and AutoML tables, two of the best tools for building structured data models that exist. All right, let's take a look at another role. On this role, they want SQL, AWS, and Python. So you're going to need to know a scripting language, and Python's probably number one. Recall that I said there are a ton of disparate niches rolled up under the data engineer. Well, here's another one. You can become a data engineer and focus solely on data warehouses. A very popular data warehouse right now is called Snowflake. It works with the big three cloud providers, and again, they are Azure, AWS, and GCP. You could be a data engineer, and you can only focus on Snowflake. This is another great niche. There are lots of high-paying jobs here, and there are very few people who have worked with it, or even know what it is. Now, it does require you to know SQL, a cloud platform like AWS and Snowflake, of course. The future of data engineering is beyond what we can imagine. It's been a top role now for almost a decade, and there's nothing that's going to unseat that anytime soon. All right, you're sold. Where do you start? Well, SQL, of course. Now, like any top-tier role, there aren't that many entry-level data engineering roles out there. That means the best entry-level role is still probably the data analyst. Now, if you can get a role as a junior-level DBA or a data engineer, then that's great also. If I were starting from scratch right now, I'd become a data analyst for a few years. I'd learn Snowflake while I was working as a data analyst, and then I'd get Snowflake certified, and I'd become a Snowflake data engineer. You'll need to do some research on your own, based on these real-world jobs I've shown you, and then build a path to reaching your goal. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.